Let's go shopping. All right guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Zach with Xbox and today we have got a come shop with us. We are planning to go to Barnes and Noble and possibly half price books. Kind of depends on how the day is gonna go. Um, finally, I've got another day off and we are excited to go shopping. Don't know what we're going to find and uh, just gonna be a fun time. I feel like it's been a little while since we've done one of these. And uh, if you guys have noticed that we haven't done that many like reading videos, I'm trying to take like a slight little break uh, just because things have been hectic. So there'll be more videos coming this month. But yeah, so we're going to be going book shopping. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you at the bookstore. find anything well they have this edition of cell you hated that book <laughs> i know but then they also have Ooh, we've heard terrible things about that movie and i'm going to tell you i flipping predicted it after watching the preview i said yeah the trailer is, looked awful i'm not it's not what you said at first you said, oh, this actually looks okay. And I'm like, um, I read the book and watched the other movie, and I'm going to tell you, this looks like it's got nothing to do with the book. Okay, so pretty much what I was getting at is this new movie, um, Firestarter, in my opinion, it's going to be like Pet Cemetery 2019. It's not going to be good. I've heard nothing good about it so far. Like, honestly, even watching the preview, I could tell that it was going to almost have nothing to do with the actual fucking book. Pardon my French. And by what I've seen review-wise, I've been pretty much right. It looked um, like it was set in a school. Yeah, there was too much school stuff going on. And in the book, I don't remember them actually ever even being in school. It starts with them running away from the, uh, the shop. So complete poop to me that is my opinion of what is going to be this movie so needless to say i don't think i'm going to spend the money to go and see it but i will waste my money on buying the movie when it comes out on dvd so there you go
So it's gonna end up being a Stephen King shopping trip. <laughs> Pretty much. It's kind of what it's looking like. Are we even gonna go to Half Price Books? Um, I don't know. We might stop in. I don't know if we'll film it, but we might stop in just to see what's going on. Yeah. Alright, so we just got the half price books. It is very busy. There are a lot of cars in the parking lot, so we might not film anything, but if we do get something, we'll put it in the hall. So, yeah, we'll uh, maybe see you inside. Probably not, but we'll see you for the book haul at the end. Alright, so we just finished up in half price books, and as we said, it was pretty busy. So, uh, we got... We'll show you the book haul. So we got... Off Season by Jack Ketchum in this cool little slipcase little thingy here. Um, I read The Girl Next Door, I think is what it was called by Jack Ketchum. It's the only one I've read by him. Mixed thoughts on the book. Obviously, it's a book that's like not really like nice, but as an overall story, I thought it was pretty decent. So, figured we'd get this. It was wrapped, and it looks like it's like a first -ish looking edition, so had to get it. And next up, we got Cell, Stephen King. This is a paper rack edition that I actually do not have, at least that I can remember seeing. So yeah, figured I'd have to get this. Rated this book like two, two and a half stars. Started out phenomenal, ended very poorly. So, and then the next one up is Firestarter, the new movie edition with the new actress. It's not Drew Barrymore. Um, but there is a cover with her on it, so, but... It's a cool cover. Yeah, it's a cool cover nonetheless. I don't remember who actually plays her, who plays, uh, Charlie in this one. I don't know who this is. So, but yeah, no, I'm very excited to get to this. Well, no, I've already read this. I'm very excited that we got this to add to my Stephen King collection. Again, I've heard nothing but bad things about the movie, though. Um, then the last book we found, which I think is the find that, well... Danielle found my Father's Day present for my dad, so that was probably the find of the day. But we can't say what it is, because he might watch this video. Um, but we found a first edition, The Silence of the Lambs, by Thomas Harris. And I think this looks absolutely stunning. It looks like the 20-something or 30th anniversary edition paperback that I have, or had. So I saw this, thought it looked amazing. And I was said, let's get it. And it actually is a first edition. So this book was phenomenal too. So yeah, so there you have the book haul. Found four books. Um, there was nothing in Goosebumps at Half Price Books, uh, except for a couple things that we sold back to them. But other than that, not much you can do. Uh, overall, this is very fun and exciting. It's been a while since we've done one of these and yeah, just got to hit up another Half Price Books in Barnes next time. These are Half Price Books because we've been to ours a lot lately. But uh, yeah, anyway, what's something you guys have gotten lately? Make sure you let me know in the comments something new, something exciting. Uh, we will have these in like another like book haulish type thing because uh, we still have to show you our Bucket of Blood haul, which that's from like a month ago almost. Um, but yeah, uh, as always, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you guys in the next video. Later.